first up, Raja Gopal, uh, who belongs to the Mulikarupur village, owning agricultural land in Tiru Chandurai. The village in question is actually joining us. I spoke to him earlier to talk about his ordeal, and my colleague Purnima was with him translating. So I began by asking him, what happened when you went to sell your land? My name is N. Raja Gopal. I belong to Mulikalumbur village. When I went to sell my land to the registrar office in Chennai, they told me to get an NOC from Chennai. I asked them as to why they didn't inform earlier, for which they had no answers. I felt uneasy that very second. I fell ill and returned home soon. They told me to go to the Vakf board in Chennai and get an NOC. Otherwise, I couldn't register, I was told. Hmm. Is this situation only specific to you or are there other people who are also being impacted by this development? After I went to the registrar office, I was the first to discover this in my village. I was the first to be impacted. I was told that my case is the first to come up like this hmm. and that I should get an NOC from Chennai. Yes, they have been impacted. Not just one or two, the entire village has been impacted by this development. Hmm. Uh, Raju Kupalji, can you also tell me how many temples are there in this village, for example? And is the Vakf claiming that the temple land also belongs to them? There are four to five temples in the area and they claim the lease of the land where temple stands also belong to them. Hmm. Okay, finally, now that an NOC has been demanding from you, what will be your next move? What are you going to do about this? We have written to the Chief Minister Stalin and we have also approached the concerned minister. They have promised to look into the matter and resolve it soon. So that's Raja Gopal who belongs to this village and as he very clearly mentioned his case when he went to sell his land kind of blew open this entire nexus that is emerging now. I do thank him for joining us and I also want to go across to my colleague Purnima who's joining us live from Trichy. Purnima this is a sensational case. I mean as stunning as it gets and you've been speaking to a lot of locals of these villages uh, throughout the day. I'm sure they must be stern, stunned to learn that somebody can just claim the land that they own on paper now belongs to somebody else. Absolutely. Apart from six villages that are now entirely listed by the work board, here are a bunch of people who hmm. own uh, homes, land parcels in the town in Trichy town mm. and they are here uh, trying to ensure that uh, the work board do not list their properties because they say that uh, they've been living here for six to seven generations and they have documents to prove that they own the place where they stay or the place where they work but right now they are scared that they may lose it very soon uh, you know uh, kya problem hai aapka abhi aap fear mein rehte ho kya abhi jo humara jo ये रजिस्टर नहीं करना बल्कि उस गवर्नमेंट से ऑर्डर किया है तो वक्फ वारियन वक्फ बोर्ड से ऑर्डर किया है इसलिए हम परेशान हैं हम इधर से छह खानदान ने छह हमारे ग्रैंड पाई ग्रैंड पाई ग्रैंड पाई इनके छह खानदान से हम इधर में जी रहे हैं सबके भी हमारा खास घरदार रहे इधर हमारा पूरा इसके लिए पट्टा है हमारे पास उसका पूरा पत्र में पूरा डॉक्यूमेंट्स पूरा का पूरा है तभी भी अभी ये लोग क्या बोल रहे हैं ये वक्फ बोर्ड का जगह है इसके लिए कोई भी अभी रजिस्टर नहीं करना बल्कि बोले हैं इसके लिए हमारे को बहुत मुश्किल हो गया अभी अभी हम पूरे भी इधर गरीब लोग हैं इधर कौन भी बहुत करोड़पति आदमी नहीं है ऐसे इसके रखे हमारे को पूरा जीवाधार इसके लिए ही है अभी ये पूरा नहीं बोलेगा तो हमारे लिए बहुत मुश्किल होएगा हम बैंक को जा नहीं सकते हम बेच नहीं सकते हम कुछ भी एक किसके ऊपर हेल्प नहीं कर सकते बोल तो फिर हमारे पीढ़ी को हमारे बच्चों के लिए हम देंगे क्या यह हमारे साथ पूरा पूरा अन्याय हुआ है इसके लिए हमारा गवर्नमेंट पूछना चाहिए इसको। Are you also shocked with the latest uh, news about your properties now being part of uh, the work board or the work plan? Yeah, hundred percent. हम तो बहुत चिंते में हैं, लेकिन घर पे एक शादी है, शादी मनाने का है। उसके लिए हम घर घर को पतिया के रहते हैं, जो घर बैंक में रखते हैं, लोन लेते हैं, शादी बनाते हैं, जो किसी को हॉस्पिटल रेस्ट करने का है, वो उसको भी बहुत चिंता हो रहा है।
अच्छा आपका नेक्स्ट प्लान क्या है नेक्स्ट प्लान तो हमारा है गवर्नमेंट के पास हम बोलेंगे हमारा हमारा हमारे तक है ना गवर्नमेंट के ऊपर हम ना फुल विश्वास है हम ना हाँ स्टॉल इन जो अच्छा करेंगे बोल के हम हमको विश्वास कर रहे हैं हम मगर कुछ सबमिट करेंगे प्रेसिडेंट प्रेसिडेंशियन सी को सबमिट करेंगे और कलेक्टर को सबमिट करेंगे सब लोग को सबमिट करेंगे कुछ अच्छा नहीं होया तो इसके बाद हम दूसरे दूसरे हम सारे हकीम शाह में सारा हमारा ताकत जो है वो ताकत लड़ाएंगे हम so there you can see a lot of people have been impacted it's not one or two uh, uh, people in this entire trichy district apart from six villages there are also people who live in uh, the city center who now live in fear they don't know what next and they now hope that the tamil nadu government intervenes and settles this case amicably because they say that they've been staying here for generations after generations and now they don't know when uh, they will be uh, when they will ensure that their land belongs to them yeah. their homes belong to their own uh, family absolutely baat hum 1918 se idhar rehte hain isko hamare isko pehla ka patr jo hamare ko mila hai hum 1918 se idhar mein hain uska patr hai ye iske pehla mein jo hamare ko diye hain wo 1908 mein aaya hai So, so they have documents yeah, also to prove that right it all belongs to them, and yes. they wonder what evidence does the work board have to list all their property, saying that it's their land. So yeah, they in fact, that's that the they biggest question the now. They have all the documents. Purnima, as these villagers and even local city dwellers are telling you very clearly, they go back as much as the 11th century. So where is this claim even coming from? I will come back to you, Purnima, in just a bit. But let, I also want to open this up to our guests joining us now.